good morning traders how's everyone doing today it is wednesday november the 25th it's approximately 8 51 a.m and um i just uh wanted to uh, give you a little bit of an update uh regarding uh this past weeks and past sunday's watch list uh, we have been doing very well um these last three days the market's been a little choppy up and down up and down um you know it's a short week tomorrow's thanksgiving and uh, i definitely wanted to wish everyone a happy thanksgiving uh, i will not be doing a video on thursday uh, nor friday i am taking off and uh, i will be back uh, doing and putting my watch list together for sunday night going into next week okay so i just wanted to give you a, a little bit of an update regarding that um, the stock that we are actually looking at today um is amd amd uh, amd looks poised to break out okay it's been trying to get above this hump of 86 dollars and 10 cents which was last week's high folks these are weekly candles okay and uh, as you can see there's a tremendous amount of consolidation here uh in this area um there's a lot of uh, support there's also a lot of resistance so in order for AMD to work, the first area that we have to get over for sure is obviously $86.10, which was last week's high. And then we're going to find some resistance, folks, at $87.05. You might want to write this down. $87.05 is going to be that area that we're going to find some resistance, okay, um, regarding uh, AMD, okay? But... Uh, overall, uh, again, today's going to be a very, very light day. I don't know how much trading I'm going to do, to be honest with you. Uh, but I am looking at AMD. And if I could, you know, make some money here uh, in the morning time, uh, I will definitely be uh, calling it a short day today. Um, I'm, I'm going to do that. Um, Apple as well. Uh, you know, uh, Apple actually broke last week's low, uh, as you can see here. Uh, it was an inside week last week. The low was 116.81. It did break last week's low, and it came back down. So Apple's got some work to do uh, if it wants to start moving forward. However, I am looking at this low of 116.81, which was last week's low. If it can get back inside 116.81, chances are it's going to break this area of resistance. And uh, I'm going to take the trade here, folks. So I'm definitely looking at Apple um run has done very well it broke last week's high as you can see at 62 dollars and 87 cents and uh it's ran so uh those who took run are doing very very well same thing with ostk also broke last week's high of 64 dollars and and uh 27 cents okay so <clears throat> those who got involved in ostk has also done very very well uh folks just so you all know okay um, I do have another a private room. Um, we trade live, okay? And basically, what that room consists of is, a, you know, traders that are listening to how I'm going about tactically managing the trade, okay? I'm a very tactical investor. So once I trade and once I go in a position, I am already looking at areas of possible resistance, and I'm going to show you something here, folks, so you can pay attention to it. So let's just say, this is a daily chart, by the way. So let's just say, for example, you took this trade at $64.27, the break of it, okay? You took the trade. You have to understand now, 64.26 becomes support. So if it goes back inside and breaks down, it's up to you, folks, how much time you want to give it before it can possibly go back up well you don't know if it's going to go back up it can break that support and go back inside on that weekly okay however once it breaks it the next thing i'm doing is i'm looking for the next area of possible resistance so let's make believe that these two candles weren't here okay and let's make believe that we have this line here as soon as it breaks this line you have to start looking to your left in order to dictate the right's move, okay? So, the last major failure on OSTK was these two candles right here. If you take a look, 
The high on this candle on the 11.5 candle was $69.19. And then the following day's high was $68.66. So as soon as you get to this barometer of the $68.66, 69.19 area which is a major failure that you're gonna you know it, it's probably gonna put on the brakes there and might pull back and as a matter of fact that's what it did it got to as high as 69.90 so it did break this candle but then it got back inside so this is what I do if it breaks that candle and it starts coming back down well your support now is going to be the 11.5 high, $69.19. Okay? So if it breaks it and you want to take profit, well, guess what? You just made yourself a decent return on um, a, a, a quick investment. You know, So that's what you want to identify. That's what I uh, bring uh, to the sh live stream. It's tremendous value. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm a price action trader, and basically, I like playing support resistances, and I like playing the weekly and monthly breaks, okay? So, if you want to learn price action trading, by all means, just send me an email at hunterchasetrading at gmail.com, and I'm definitely going to help you out with it. Uh, next on our list was Neo. Neo had an unbelievable week. Uh, it broke this 50 uh, 59 high, which was last week's high, and it went all the way up to $57.20. Neo is cooling off a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if it pulled back here a little. Um, it is a bit extended, uh, but you know, uh, Neo's Neo. Uh, Neo's looking good. I still have a, a position in here, but I've also been tactically trading it as well. So I have a core position in Neo, but I also trade it on a daily basis. Um, I call it for shekels, you know, I mean, if you can trade this and you know how to trade tactically, you can make a lot of money while holding still a position for the long term in a stock like NEO, okay? So, NEO here, uh, I'm going to draw just to show you something really quick, okay? I'm going to take this trend line here, I'm going to take the low of $38.11, there you have it, and I'm just going to connect it there um, as you can see folks the neo may pull back uh, it might pull back to the bottom of this trend line before it starts marching up again okay so uh, again just keep an eye out on that um, if it does break this 50 59 which as a matter of fact in pre-market it's below it now and then maybe reclaims and breaks the 50 59 again guess what I'm going to add to NEO. <laughs> I'm going to take advantage of that. So, again, uh, this is support right now. It's last week's high. If it breaks last week's high, the support then becomes resistance. If it breaks resistance, you have to take the trade. Okay? So, basically, that's uh, what I'm going to be doing with NEO. Uh, let me just remove that. All righty. And um, let's see what else we have here. We have BIG. BIG was on our watch list from Sunday. Again, did very, very well broke last week's high uh big did pull back a bit um but it seems like it's doing okay let's see the next one last but not least is fslr fslr had a tremendous week broke last week's high of 86 dollars and 42 cents and it got to a high folks of 91.50 so really uh unbelievable move I um, hope you're seeing the value in these videos. I hope you're understanding the way little by little I trade. I will be doing other videos, educational videos regarding um, what I do on at the end of the week, how I draw my support, how I draw my resistance lines. That's extremely important. You need to learn support and resistance or else, folks, you cannot trade successfully. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Okay, so that's very important. But anyhow, um, I want to get ready for the day. And I uh, just wanted to post this real quick. Everyone, please have a safe and, um, and happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I wish everyone well. And have enjoy your weekend with your families. Please be careful out there. And uh, you will see my stock watch list on Sunday. I'm going to have a new one. Um, you have to tune in. It's, I think this stock is, is getting ready to explode. And, um, you know, tune in uh, to the 
video on Sunday night. It'll be there. Okay, folks, have a wonderful day.